with the latest battle between Kurdish forces and Islamic State militants was captured by a crew from Norwegian television. It was a fierce fight, but the militants were eventually expelled from the town of Makhmer, 40 miles southwest of Arbil, the regional capital under threat from the militant advance. It was a small victory in a much larger war. The Islamic State has driven thousands from their homes, threatening to murder ethnic minorities. Scores of Yazidis have already fallen victim. Tens of thousands have fled to the mountains for refuge. And battling against the elements, they're now dependent on aid from the West to survive. Most of that is coming from the U.S. and British Air Forces, who are now dropping parcels of water and solar lamps in the dead of night. It's comfort to the desperate Yazidis, but as their plight worsens, Western powers and international aid agencies are being forced to consider what more they can do to help.